Brand new video in showing fans leaving Fletcher High School following a fight at Fletcher versus Sandalwood High School's game. The game was cut short due to that incident. Neptune Beach Police report there were no gunshots while a Duval County school spokesperson says one person was arrested for resisting an officer. On your side, Zach Wilcox joining us live from the school. Zach, this was not the only incident at Fletcher High School this week. Yeah, Destiny, the school went into a code yellow on Wednesday for a concern about a possible gun on campus. Turned out to be a Nerf gun, but still been a very stressful week for students, for faculty, and for parents. I talked with one parent about what last night was like before they found out that there wasn't a gun involved. I got the call that every mother doesn't want to give from my ninth grader who said, Mom, I think our game was shot up. My friends and I hopped the fence, we're running home. Within a few minutes, Fletcher High School parent Katie Hathaway's home near the school was full of two dozen students who left the football game in a panic. It breaks my heart that this is the reality for our kids. They are just trying to have fun after school at a school game and they are running home traumatized. Neptune Beach Police reports a large fight broke out near the entrance to the stadium and the game was cut short with less than five minutes remaining. A Duval County School spokesperson says there were no reports of shots or weapons associated with the incident. That wasn't what Hathaway's seventh and ninth graders were thinking as they ran from the stadium. Just because there wasn't a gun involved, that doesn't mean that that was in the back of every person's mind in that stadium and the trauma is real. The Fletcher Sandalwood incident happened just over a month after an officer involved shooting at a parking lot across the street from a First Coast High School reball game. Jacksonville City Councilman Reggie Gaffney Jr. called a meeting with the superintendent, a school board member, and a JSO zone chief after that shooting. Gaffney said in a statement, officials are taking steps to increase high school football security and other tactics that can't be shared right now. In light of another incident since that meeting, Gaffney says he's confident in elected officials to investigate and enhance the measures they already have in place to identify room for improvement. Hathaway says she won't keep her boys from the Fletcher vs. Parker game next week. I want my kids to continue to go to football games. I know some parents are going to be reevaluating that. I refuse to like let that drive my decision making as a parent going forward. A district spokesperson mentioned that the vast majority of games go off without a problem, but even the occasional incident like what happened last night or what happened earlier this season are unacceptable. So leadership within the district, they're going to be analyzing this and reviewing this and talking about this going forward. In uh, Neptune Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.